In this video I'll cover my experiences with the Luxilon Adrenaline String, which is one of the cheapest options from Luxilon and one of their most powerful polyester offerings. I tested the Luxilon Adrenaline String in two different rackets. I tested it in the Wilson ProStaff RF97 and in the Technifiber T5 305 XTC racket, which I have extended for my use. I tested the string in two different gauges. I used it in the 125mm gauge in the RF97 and 130mm gauge in the Technifiber racket. The specifications uh, of the rackets that I used were listed earlier on the left part of the screen. In the RF97 I used the tension of 25 kilos on the mains and 24 on the cross strings and in the Technifiber racket I used a higher tension of 27 and 26 kilos for mains and crosses. The string added just under 16 grams to the RF-7 racket and it weighs about 16.5 grams for 10 meters in the 125 mm gauge and the thicker gauge, the 1.3 mm gauge, weighs 17.9 grams per 10 meters. The weight and uh, string material density is very comparable to the ALU power string and it's just a bit lighter than the air power. During my period of testing I used in total four sets of the string, so uh, two sets for each racket. I restrung both rackets after about three hours of play on each, so on each set of the strings, uh, but I have to say that I would get some more playability out of the string in the Technifiber racket but in the RF the notching became really bad and the string just felt a lot stiffer after this period and because of the notching of the string it also limited the string movement and its snapback and because of that it lost a lot of the spin potential. But anyways, I'll share my thoughts on the string when it's fresh like I usually do and it's easier to compare strings when fresh. For me it would be the easiest to compare the string to the ALU power with some minor differences which I'll talk about. Luxilon adrenaline felt a bit stiffer and muted than the ALU power but overall the power level was about the same. I have to say that I preferred the ALU power for the feel but there were some strong points of the adrenaline and that's the spin. I, I felt like I could get uh, more spin and more predictable response from the adrenaline string and that's partly because I believe I was more confident when swinging out because the response was more predictable and the feel a bit more muted and I was never afraid of the ball flying out. What impressed me a lot compared to, for example, ALU power was the playability duration of this string in the first, let's say, two hours. The tension drop, I think, was minimal and the characteristics of this string stayed about the same for the first two hours. Then when heavy notching started, like I mentioned, I really needed to change the string. What I think is also worth mentioning is that ball pocketing was really good with this string uh, despite the fact that I strung it at quite high of tension and perhaps this would be a sign for me to string it higher because usually I like string beds that don't deflect that much but with this string I actually enjoyed the feeling of the ball sinking into the string bed and I didn't feel like I lost control because of this. It's also the reason why I didn't string 
the rackets at a higher tension for the second set because I thought that the tension was high enough the first time that I strung. I'm a fan of round shaped uh, control oriented polys, so overall I really enjoyed this playtest and I would rank this string among uh, my top 5 round polyester strings. I think it's a great cheaper offering from Luxilon and a great string for its uh, lower price point, which for me was just under 10 euros per set. So these are my thoughts on the Luxilon Adrenaline string. Uh, if you've tried this string and would like to share your thoughts on it, comment below and let me and others know about your experiences with the string. If you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to my channel and stay impacted.